Flight Centre Search, Compare, Book. The experience of over 3,000 travel specialists comes directly to you. So your next holiday is just a few clicks away. Search thousands of destinations, flights, hotels and car hire. Compare and plan your perfect holiday easily and all online. Have questions? Give us a call 24-7. Flight Centre. Search, compare, book, visit or call. Check out flightcentre.com.au. Call Flight Welcome to this Football Brisbane Media feature game presentation. I'm Darren Lutton. It's grand final day and we're at AJ Kelly Park for the clash between Lions FC and Mitchelton FC. Of course, these two sides finished first and second on the ladder. Let's see who takes out this year's grand final trophy. Calling all the action is Rafe Griffin. Thanks very much, Darren. There's Lions coach Warren Moon just strolling over to his position on the technical bench prior to the start of this grand final. So to his opponent this evening, Mitchelton coach Leo Siriani. Let's take a look at the team lineups for this Flight Centre Premier League grand final. Well, Leo Siriani has elected to keep Ben Enjoy on the bench for his side. Perhaps he can provide a late spark for his side. Referees Casey Rybelt, assisted by Paul Eldridge and John Vasiliadis. The fourth official is Anton Chetinian. So Lions gathering one final time here as a group. So too are the Mustangs. And it will be Mitchell and get us underway in this 2016 Flight Centre Premier League Grand Final. Kept in there by Mitchell. Starts a run down the left-hand side. Pushed off the ball by Jankovic. Well, fairly in the opinion of Casey Rybelt, at least. Let's take a look at that. Well, it wasn't shoulder to shoulder. Looked to be a fair dink and push there by Jankovic. So he's been able to get away with one early on. Now for Lions inside their penalty box. Trying to shield the ball there was Castledine. Lawson up against Diaz there. And some traffic directing there from Tim Lawson, who announced prior to the start of this match that this would be his final game. Now Lions inside the box, and Brody Kenyon is headed home here. So inside the first five minutes, the champions have the lead. It's been a familiar tactic this year. The long throw in into the box and the final touch coming Red's way. Brody Kenyon puts his side into the lead here. Lions lead 1 0. Want a variation for Shepard. Puts this one high and Reardon just sends that one over the bar. Shade sending this one long. And again, Lions have come away with it. This time it's Gaffney on for Butters and Downs with the save. And Castledine gets there in front of Diaz. Let's take a second look at that. Michael Butters, for me, with the surroundings here at Peninsula Power. And he's forced Downs to save his side here. Free kick in the background that McVeigh has given away. And he earns himself a caution here from referee Casey Rybelt. Yeah, coming in from behind and pretty clear foul and pretty fair reason for a yellow card there for the foul against Nathan Reardon. Lawson. He's is out there to Gaffney. Butters sneaks in. This time he's a bit too willing. Referee Casey Rybelt just having to cool things down here at the moment. Lawson take it out there by Butters. In an attempt to get the ball. In the way. Butters heads it on, on the halfway line. He's suffered a heavy knock, and referee Casey Rybelt will immediately hold this one up for the head knock. 
against Michael Butters here. Oh yeah, head clash between he and Mitchelton captain Nick Bernardi. This player's going in fairly for the ball, but Butters it comes off worse for wear. It's being taken to the sideline. So just over five minutes remaining in this first half. One squeeze through here for Mitchell. And the Lions defence haven't been called upon too much here so far. Free kick here to the champions. Downs here at his near post. So into stoppage time. Chance here for Mitchelton to get back on level pegging. Before the half-time break, and Zabax on hand. So Lions will take a 1-0 advantage into the second half with Enjoy now on the pitch here for Mitchelton. Looking for the foul, but the whistle wasn't blown. He gets it second time round here. Enjoy from the edge of the box. Puts that one wide. Throwing comes for Griffin. Bernardi now. Sending a pass long here for Mitchell. He can't get on target. Warren Moon. You don't usually see frustration from the Lions coach. Normally cool as a cucumber. But obviously with the big event tonight, Asking his players for the rule and to keep their heads switched on. This game could turn at any moment. All the way back here for Downs. A miscue straight into the backside there of Diaz. And he's going to escape from that one. Well, nervy times there for the Mustangs. Midway through the second half, still 1-0. Porter's still on the edge of their seats. And Casey Rybelt has spotted something here. Butters once again in the wars. It looks like an elbow there by McVeigh on Butters. And now Casey Rybelt. Well, he's already been booked, has Josh McVeigh. He collects his second yellow card. And Mitchelton. They're going to be down here to 10 men for the second part of the second half. It's just a formality now, and Casey Rybelt confirms it. And Josh McVeigh having some words to say as he departs the pitch. Well, it's even more of an uphill battle here now for Mitchelton, but they have been better here in this second half. They'll have to do it with 10. Both keen for the ball. Reardon on for Jamonde. He plays it quickly for Diaz. Downs. He gets something on it, but he's unable to stop Diaz from doubling Lions' advantage here. Jamonde on as a substitute. He sends the situation. Diaz was perfectly placed. Got his shot away. Downs was unable to handle it. And all he can do is see that ball trickling across the goal line. And with just over a quarter of an hour remaining, the champions have a two goal advantage. Tyler's Butters on for Gaffney. Cross in towards the near, the far post I should say. Butters in the six yard box and downs there to tidy up. Jamonde, or was there a suspicion of a foul there? Play was allowed to continue, and Downs mops up. Read him. Again, Jamonde with a quick touch. This time on for Butters. Butters plays it off here for Diaz. And second time round, Tynan Diaz makes sure of it.
And it looks as though the grand final monkey is off lines back. Butters had a think about it. He spotted Diaz in a better position. He composes himself and with Downs well off his line, Tynan Diaz seizes the opportunity. And with just over 10 minutes remaining now, it looks like the champions will claim the double. And the corner here to Lyons. In swings the ball, and that's goal number four. Marko Jankovic puts the final nail in the coffin here for Mitchelton. The corner swung in. Jankovic, the glancing header across the face of Downs. From the in goal replay, there we can see it. And Lions on their way to claiming the 2016 Flight Centre Premier League Grand Final. Group for Mitchelton. Can they come up with a consolation? No, they won't. That is full time. Lions are the 2016 Flight Centre Premier League Grand Final winners. They're 4-0 winners against Mitchelton. And Warren Moon and Leo Siriani embrace. Leo! What were your thoughts on the game, mate? I was, no, we knew we were coming to play the best team in the competition today. And again, congratulations to Warren and Lyon. Uh, it's an exceptional season to win the Premiership and Grand Final. Well done. Uh, you know, we knew it was going to be tough, it wasn't going to be easy. Uh, but I've got to say, to my boys, I don't think I could be prouder of a bunch of guys that turned up in December. Uh, a lot of people wrote us off and uh, to get through the season and to finish second and to get a Canali Cup on the way and to be here the last day in September, uh, my, my hat goes off to every single one of them. Uh, we're not a team, we're more a family and uh, I can't thank you enough. But today we just weren't good enough and uh, congratulations Lions. They seem to jump you early, but uh, credit to you lads, they worked their way back into the game. Yeah, uh, I mean, uh, to go in at 1-0 down, uh, I thought uh, it was a good result for us. Uh, we had a few chances early in the second half, maybe to get ourselves back in. But against the quality side, you've got to take those half chances. Um, but, you know, like I said, uh, we'll be better for it next year. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Craig and Peninsula Power because this pitch is amazing. Uh, I know you guys have done a lot of work to get it like this, but it's sensational when you want to play a grand final and you get two good teams to play on a good pitch. So thanks, Peninsula Power. Um, but as, like I said, the game, like I said, against a good team, they're good out, but you've got to take your chances and they thoroughly deserve it. So well done. Well done on a great season, Leo. Thank you. Well, Warren, congratulations. That's uh, four grand final wins in a row. No, uh, <laughs> that's fine. I've been, I've been in four grand finals, and uh, I'm sure the people in the balcony out there know who won last year. Um, but we've been in four, and uh, yeah, I've been lucky enough to win yeah, three. Yeah, yeah, I remember now. Can we start again? <laughs> All right, uh, so last time we spoke, you won the league. Then you lost two games against two bottom teams. How difficult was it to get the side back up for the finals? Uh, I wasn't worried. It was, um, we were sort of uh, preparing for finals, so uh, we made changes and, um, and a few different positional things. And yeah, we we weren't too uh, worried. We didn't panic. It was uh, it was all building for this uh, a, a day like today. So, yeah. right. <laughs> and uh, this win. What sort of uh, vindication does it give on um, on the work that you had to put in throughout the season? Yeah, look, we worked hard. We, we came in early, and I'm sure the boys would tell you maybe too early, but um, we worked hard from November, and uh, very proud of these bunch of boys because they've uh, all year they've done what I've asked, and they've uh, they've given 100. percent And uh, yeah, we we just worked really hard to this, and I think the boys thoroughly deserve it. All the more sweeter, we're winning it on this pitch. Yeah, it's a special place in my heart up here. Uh, I love this pitch, and uh, again. Sentiments and 
to the boys up there and to Craig. Thank you so much for this pitch, mate. It was a carpet, so um, we really appreciate it. And it was a great part for us to play. Well, congratulations. There's one more thing to uh, to occur. Just uh, before we do, I just want to obviously pay a tribute to uh, Mitchell Taylor and Leo. Um, fantastic year, boys, and uh, what you've done um, since the rebuild uh, to make the, uh, the the final, win the Canale Cup, and finish second. Um, no doubt there will be uh, more battles next year, um, and uh, all the best. Cheers. So Lions FC are the 2016 Flight Centre Premier League Grand Final winners. Thanks very much for watching FBTV through the year. We look forward to seeing you again in 2017. Number one, 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 number one,